Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert a month number into a name. So in this example I've got sales information by month. Now the months show the numbers 1 through 12. And I'm going to show you how you can convert this into the name. So instead of saying the number 1, it'll show January. For the number 2, it'll show February and so on. Now normally in Excel, if you had the date information in here, you could just convert this into into a text into a text field text select and then comma three letters for the m let's say if you wanted the month abbreviation now but the problem is if i copy this down this is all going to recognize as january okay and so the one thing that uh we can do to to fix this is by multiplying these values in column a and so for example, I'll show you why that is. So if I take the number number one and increment it all the way down, all right, let's say all the way down to there. And now if I take that same month, or sorry, the text function, and then three M's, copy it down, you'll notice that by the time it hits the number 32, that belongs to February now. So now Excel is going to think you're looking at the month of, of February. And obviously, because January only has 31 days in the month, the 32nd day of the year is going to be in, in February. So the one thing you can do to get these, these values in the right month is by multiplying them. And you can multiply them by a factor of 28 or 29. And I'll show you why that is. So if I take amount times by 28 and I'm gonna lock that lock that cell here now if I copy this down I've got these different uh, days of the year now and to prove this out what I can do is now use the text function again and this time use 3ms and now you'll notice you've got the correct month for each one of those 6 relates to June, 12 relates to December. And so the reason this works is really simple because if I look at the actual, let's say, date value, I can do a date function. So let's say I'll enter you know, 2021, month is 1, and the day is going to be the 28th day. So if I close this and I copy this down, you'll notice the dates are in the right month. I mean, the day's will move but they're they're all in the right month even to Dece december goes to december 2nd and so even if we were in a leap year like if i were to change this to 2024 you know this calculation is still going to work still barely in december but that's but that's good enough right and if i used a, a factor of 29 instead of 28 and multiplied all these numbers by that it would still work still still goes in the right month of the year now the problem is if i go to 30 then that's not going to work because well actually for the for the leap year it is going to work but if i go for the current year then it is not going to work because it bumps me to to march instead of instead of february so i've got two values in march so in a leap year it would work but in a regular year multiplying by 30 isn't going to work and if I use the value of 27, then that's not going to get me far enough into the year to get to the to get to December. And even August again has has multiple multiple values in there. So that's why you can either use 28 or you can use 29. And either one of those will get you to the right right month at least. The the day really doesn't matter because all you're pulling in is the month value. So that's a quick way to convert month numbers into month names. Thanks for watching.